The word for today is quiet. Everything is so loud. Everything is so loud. Scientists tell us that whales and fish and all sorts of marine life are negatively affected by how loud the oceans are with boat traffic and various other man-made noises. Stop right now and close your eyes and see how much you can hear. Or go outside and notice how, even if it's not that loud, the noises of human life are never, ever completely silent. I put this video up because it's one of the few times I can even remember in the recent past when I spent a few minutes in a place where I couldn't hear a single thing but the wind and the birds and the sounds of buzzing insects. Even nature isn't quiet. But finding a corner where the noise of the world, and by the world I mean our world, the way that we live in it, finding a place where that noise fades away even just for a few minutes is rare, right? There are always background machines running, background engines rumbling, background media having an indistinct conversation with itself. And that's before we even get to the people and what they're doing. Quiet is good for the heart and good for the soul and just good. It's okay that we can't find it all the time. But as a pastor I know once said, life is more than just an endless chatter in your brain. And sometimes we need to fully disconnect from that chatter, that background hum, that constant rumble of loud, and see what's there in the quiet. The Bible says that God appeared to the prophet after a lot of loud and meaningless noise in a sound of sheer silence. Maybe you can find a moment today to see if God has something to say to you in the quiet.